Ladies and gentlemen, I am Jimbo the Fuzzy, and welcome back to The Last Federation. When we left off, we are trying to build up the resources of everybody and trying to get more trade routes set up and going. And thinking about that and what we're trying to let the Peltians build up their terrible, terrible stockpiles of cesium at a rate of apparently 250 per month, which means it takes 30 months or one and a half years to get the resources for a single mine. They don't have any moons they can use. Terrible. We can try and get the Evox and Thoraxians to like each other a little better. At the moment, the Thorax... I'm sorry. At the moment, the Thoraxians dislike the Andor. The Evox, Burlusts, the Boring, and the Acutions. The issue with the Evox is a problem. The issue with the Andor is a little irritating. Burlusts are not a problem. Thraxians would make a good check on the Burlusts. Acutions are an irritant and Borings are an irritant. Neither of which is easy to fix. However, with that said, we don't want them going after the Evox because, again, the Evox super weapon is to blow up their planet. And their planet, being a gas giant, that basically means a miniature supernova. And miniature supernova are not things I like to have happen in the middle of my diplomacy. So, with that in mind, I was thinking about helping the Acutians set something up and maybe they can broker a trade deal. A oh, retail trade. You guys can broker things with the Evox, the... Okay, you can broker something with the Thoraxians. That works for me. And... Let's just make sure that the, uh... Thoraxians... Yeah, the Thoraxians have lots of resources flowing in. As do... Well, no. The main resource they... Oh... Okay. They can make a trade. So, yeah. Alright. So, retail trade. Broker a trader with... The Thoraxians. Uh, are they the only ones that I'm worried about? Houston's having issues with? Burlusts are not a major problem... Skylaxians could be better, but Skylaxians have resource issues and I need to get them working with the Evox. Should have done something sooner, but I was busy with like a bazillion other things. Alright, retail trade. Broker trader out with the Thoraxians. All right, they, I spent 200 credit, and they are now trading cesium for xenotime. Excellent. We could set up another one. And in fact, I think we might, yeah. Let's do it. Cesium for uranium. That'll work. And there we go. So that should fix up the issue with the Thoraxians. Now, can we do that with the Evox? Yes, we can. Trade Xenotime for Terbium. Good. And ouch, that's a little more credit cost. Um, but yes. 
I don't want to do too much. Because, again... The, uh, I'm trying to save up enough to trade with the Skylaxians. And the Burlusts are now getting better with ships. Great. But now we can all look at the Skylaxians, who do have a good amount of cesium now. 14k. Which means we might be able... Might. It's the property development. To set up another mine. Yes, we can. And we want a terbium. Do we want more cesium, though? That might help. No, no more terbium. Terbium's what's closest. Yeah. Get a little more terbium, and then we should be fine. They're getting almost a thousand cesium a month. Wow. Alright, so. Property development. Terbium mine. Don't want to take 10 months, so let's go buy a few more construction workers. Like, say, eight. All right. Call it 5K, and property development is here. Turbium mine, two months. Yep, we're going to make money. Look at all those trade fleets flying around. Making everyone nicer. <sighs> Mutual benefit is so nice, isn't it? And what else do we have? Do we have enough for... I doubt we have enough? Uh, no. No more trade routes. So, let's go buy another... 10... Con Eight construction workers. This is, this is an example where things can slow down. There are other things I can be doing to help them out. But in this case, I'm trying to get some trade routes up and running. I don't even technically have to be going for the trade routes to get everybody nice. I can probably talk the Evox into joining the Federation on their own. But at the same time, I don't really like having them doing it. Oh, and or have negative medical. We need to fix that. Alright. And or Parliament, what can we do? General Agenda... Broke our trade route. Do we have any we can do? No. Well, we could do one with the Thoraxians, but... And, yeah. They got plenty of uranium for the moment. Um... Hey, you guys, you need more terbium, and lots of it. I think two more terbium processing plants would be enough, but... You don't have enough cesium at the moment. And you have none of cesium. It's going to take another eight months for you, so... You know what? Let's go up the end or colonize a couple of moons. There's one. There's two. And now let's hope that nobody got exterminated. 
Boring's constructed a new military outpost. That's good. Um, right. We need to help their medical. Look at all these outposts that the Andor and Skylaxian have set up. Uh, friendly acts. What can we do? Property development. And its research center would work, definitely. Not that it would help with our medical issues. And... Yeah, no. At the moment, we can research a lot faster. The cooperative research. Okay, there are a few things to get here. Like, uh... Planet core cooling, huh? Matter transmission, 27 months. Industrial tractor beams, 32 months. And improved laboratories, which boosts the effectiveness of science outposts. Hey, we've got a couple of those. Orbit clearing requires industrial tractor beams. So, let's grab the um, anti meteor system, I think. That'll help a bit. The probably it's not gonna be a fix everything thing, but it's gonna help. How are the Peltians and Andor liking each other? Not good enough yet. Of course, the Indoor and Skylaxians don't like each other. Great. Well, the Indoor and Burlus get along, so... Okay, we can use the Andor to pull the Burlus into the Federation. We can pull in the Borings on our own. The Skylaxians can pull in the Thraxians. And we can pull in the Evox and the Acutians on our own. And the Borings on our own, right? Alright. We have a plan now. The issue is, uh... building up those relationships. So, Andor, can you trade with a Burlus? No. What can we do to get the Andor and the Burlus to like each other more? Uh, let's see. Andor and Burlus. Enemy of my enemy. Well-being admiration. And, okay, they originally liked each other. And the Andor and Burlust. Well-being admiration. I mean, Miami. Weakling penalty and the Burlust want more than one world. Okay. Um. Sorry, from not having more than one world. The Burlust want more than one world. So Pelton Skelexians are good. So we need to boost up the Andor Burlus relationship somehow. They've got four moons that are uncolonized. And they have a decent amount of income per month. Can we broker a trader out with them? No. They don't want to trade. So what can we do? 
I guess we're down to the Andor using the boring to boost the relationship between the Andor and Burlust. Which we could probably go do right now. A little bit of. But I kind of like having the money in my pocket. And let's see. Interplanetary relations. Between the Andor and the boring. We have, uh, sorry, Burlusts. We have, ouch, yeah. That's gonna be a lot of money. Couple million, probably. All right. Why is the cost so high? Probably because the boring don't like either of them. Is that the case? Yeah, the Boring do not like the Andor, and the Burlis do not like the Boring. So we need to do something to get the Boring and Andor to be better friends. That is our new goal. At least for the moment. You guys... Oh. Well, first we're gonna go build another mine over for the Pel over here for the Peltians. That seems easy enough. Um, property development. Right, we need to go buy those uh, construction workers. Eight of them. And now we need to go property development. Wait, they only have... They need another university. How much cesium do those cost? 4k? Ouch. Alright, let's go get this done. But... The nice thing about this game is everybody plays it a bit differently. There's a lot of options as to how you can approach things. And I'm pretty sure that's... Obvious at this point. Alright, there's 8k. We spent 5k. Not as much as I would have liked, but... Meh. Now they need, um... A year to stock up on C... A couple of years to stock up on cesium. Yeah. So, let's go look at the Endor and see what we can do to improve relationship with the Boring. Um, can we broker a trade route with the Boring? No, we cannot, because anti-trade. Anti-trade. Um. Could colonize a moon, but it's not going to help too much. If we go to the, uh, Boring, can we share some tech? Yeah, why is that going down? Uh, let's see. No, I don't want that. I want the boring and the uh, andor. Oh, right. TV programming. <laughs> so. Yep. Yeah. My Federation may be doomed because I'm having people put the wrong television programs on air. Okay. I need to figure out what will help the... What will improve things with the boring. Uh... No. Confectioner. Hydroponics plant. So we've got the family stories, which is doing... But this is going to hurt things with the Peltians. Ouch. Um, This is going to hurt with a Burlust, and that's the one I can't afford. This 
This is going to be a tough trick. Uh, that's going to irritate the Evox. But I could set up a trade route with the Evox to offset it. And it's also going to make the Peltians happier. Which is good. So can I set up a trade route with the Evox? Um... Right. They've got enough resources, they just don't have enough different kinds. And then maybe due to the Evox... Needing a few more moons, yeah. How did the Andor and Evox get along now? Kinda alright. And the, um... Andor do not like the Skylaxians, but the Skylaxians like the Andor, so we need to, so we can afford to temporarily, very temporarily, set up the confectionery, which is going to irritate the Evox, but we can handle that for a little bit. And now we're going to get a lot of money. So, Pelting Freighter Distress Call. All right. Well, let's get this quest done, or this part done. The Acutians want space power. Good. Well, kind of good. It means they're not going to get attacked, which is nice. Oh, they're less likely to get attacked by anybody who can really hurt them. Alrighty, built a confectionery. Good. However, I've come to the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I have been Jimbo the Fuzzy, and I hope to see you again next time.